This time, we want to write the fractions as a percent. So I'll start. Now, I need to set it up to something where it's over 100. So I multiply, actually, this by 10 to get to 100. So I multiply the top by 10, I get 70, and then it ends up equaling 70%. Now let's do the next one here. Let's take 3 fifths. Okay, if I take 3 over 5, I need to set it equal to something over 100. So what did I multiply this by? I multiplied it by 20. I multiply the top by 20, and I'll end up getting, what I'm getting? 60. And this is 60%. 60%. Hopefully we can start to see this hundred and the percents having something in common.